Well, with the Super Bowl behind us, football fans can now focus on the NFL draft, and this year could be a big one here in the Valley. Newcastle grad Malik Hooker is projected as a first-round pick. In fact, most mock drafts have him going in the top 10. It's been a long time since we've had a local player go that high, but Hooker wouldn't be the first to get drafted in the top 10. He wouldn't even be the first from Newcastle. When it comes to football, the Valley is well represented in the NFL. However, there's only been 14 local players taken in the first round of the draft and only a handful in the top 10. The last to do it was Newcastle native Bruce Clark. The former Penn State defensive lineman was the fourth pick in the 1980 NFL draft, but he never played for Green Bay. That's the team that drafted him. Instead, Clark joined the Toronto Argonauts of the CFL and eventually signed with the New Orleans Saints, playing eight years in the NFL. Two years earlier, Ross Browner from Warren Western Reserve was taken eighth overall by the Cincinnati Bengals. Browner was a four-year starter at Notre Dame and a two-time All-American. He played nine years in the NFL, highlighted by a sack of Joe Montana in Super Bowl 16. But did you know the Valley once had a player taken with the very first pick? And no, it's not who you think. Boardman's Bernie Kozar was the first pick in the 1985 supplemental draft. No, the answer is more than 70 years old. Youngstown native and Cheney grad Frank Sinkwich was the top player taken in the 1943 NFL draft after leading the country in rushing at the University of Georgia and winning the Heisman Trophy in 1942, Sinkwich was drafted number one overall by the Lions and was also named the NFL's MVP in 1944.